especially like when I was drunk or when I was sober or whatever, blah, blah, on the way home, and now I find myself texting myself these really long, crazy text messages with poetry. So these are all things that I've written on the way home. So um, I'm to transfer them to my snazzy new uh, tablet. It's a bad angle. Where'd you get that, that $5 free tablet? At the Sprint store. I went in to lower my bill, and she goes, I can't lower your bill, but I can give you a tablet for free for five dollars a month. Okay. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So uh, here's the first one. Uh, I make it easy to make it hard, not difficult to catapult. We are on the same plane, first class, two-way equidistant horoscope. I push as you pull. I tighten up where you get loose. This is indescribable, describable. My dictionary is telling lies. I eradicate your illegitimate. Your feelings feel good when I am the one feeling them. Passion is fire. Sex is fire. Tamper, tantrum, talisman. You find this fashion, frantic, Fahrenheit. I celebrate your secret. We are the same game. Hunting wildly for captivity. Alone together. Wars fought with text. Battles won without words. Play until surrender. This is valid invalidity. My revelation reveals it all. That's a text message. That was a text message, yeah. Well, to myself. Okay. <laughs> I text myself. Well, you can send that to me. I go to mine. It's a new Bible song. Yeah. I text myself. There we go. I know. I like that. <laughs> this one's um, definitely um, the funniest of the, of the lot. Um, I like to eavesdrop, and I'm sure everyone else does too, to a certain extent. Um, but I had a really great experience at the diner. I was sitting at the diner alone, and some crazy girl behind me was talking to all her drunk friends. And um, I never actually got a chance to see what she looked like. So I wrote this poem about her. <clears throat> her name is the best part about the whole poem. I almost met a lesbian named Dynasty tonight. <laughs> She sat behind me in the diner while I began to eat my tuna melts. I wanted to turn around and see if she had shoulder pads, you see. I decided instead to eavesdrop until she left. She could be pretty, she could be butch, she could be both at the same time. She bragged about the bitches she knew and how many people she could say hi to. I don't even know if she was real, but she sure had a dirty mouth. I wish I, I wonder what she looks like. I'm going to have to find her. Like looking, searching for dynasty. That's the name of my name. Uh, reality show. This one is definitely one of those. Actually, I wrote this the other night, so uh, this is pretty new. Um, and I just done, um, strangely enough, because I'm not obviously a fitness model, but uh, I did burlesque at uh, Stonewall uh, the other day for the second time. It was my second debut, that's what you called it. So uh, this was after feeling really great about getting almost naked on stage for people I didn't really know. It's kind of crazy. Um, ah, what? Right. What? I mean, I've gotten naked for people I don't really know, but it's not usually on stage. It's usually a little darker. And, you know, That's the audience. And there's a lot of doors that close. Rock bar. Yeah. Oh, the mayor's here. Oh, did I say that? The mayor's here. The mayor's here. The mayor's here. I think somebody stole the mayor's here. Really? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to kill them. Um, okay, here we go. Comfort takes the place of confidence at just the right time. My vegetables will be enjoyed raw. No steam, no pressure. Just a half crown smile and a tank top. I am reborn. Treasure, pleasure. Remind me what I forgot to ask you, if you remember. My desire to be desired has violated my probation. Questioned my authenticity. Scared away my fears. Manufactured my melancholy. Sang songs without melody. Reinvigorated my demons. Celebrated my severance. I am unborn, still life. Nick back patty whack, give a dog a bone. <laughs> Felt spar, tiger eye, skin and bone. Let's go outside, let's go inside. Let's go anywhere, let's go everywhere, together. Woo. This is a really short one. Uh, and I'm trying to remember exactly who it is about. Like How, do yeah. How do you say that in your native language? That's what she said. Cheese curls. Cheese curls, okay. <laughs> this one I almost said, but it would have been ridiculous because the person wouldn't have even known what the hell I was talking about. 
If I take all the empty space you left for me to wander upon, to and fro, a gazelle terrified of becoming prey, a prayer without a serpent, a sin without penance, a church without a god, I would walk far enough east until I found myself west. And this is the, the real dramatic, um, sad, you know, like, a oh, woe is me, uh, I'm a victim of love type poem. Because uh, I, I keep finding myself in these one month relationships and uh, they, they just, they, they stop calling, you know, they stop responding. And it's usually because they say I'm too good for them. That's the <laughs> or they're not ready for something so intense. I'm like, sorry. So, it's kind of a lover's score, but not really. Too good for you. What was that? You're too good for me. What? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I died from the so many things you implied without saying a word, without an adjective, without a description. My mind was left to wiggle and wander through the jungle of wonder. I feel disqualified and disgusting. Did you feel too much and that terrified you? Did I explain too much and clarify completely the things I promised to do to you? Will you ever return to me to get the gift I gave you to remember me by? Will you ever give me a concrete reason to open my eyes and cry? The pavement hurts as I crash down onto your sidewalk. The pathway I long to hear words you decided not to talk. Why won't you agree to let me down face to face? Are you scared to hurt me eye to eye? Are you worried my body will thwart your decision? Are you frightened that you stopped the one person who is left on earth to love you? Our flaws are complementary and our stolen nights of fever were nothing short of voluntary. You made me feel like I was the only one for just a few hours, and the smile on my face lasted until I was in your presence once again. But now it has been so many days since I have had the chance to hold you while you slept, that my smile has gone sour, and your taste in my mouth has burned bittersweet. The only thing worse than saying goodbye is not getting the respect of such a salutation. You are a coward and have left me stranded. I will survive, but I am wounded once again. If only you had used your sword to defend me, rather than have wielded the reason I now bleed. I hope to find the bleach to relieve me of this stain. Until then, I shall silently scream your name. It's the difference between I have you and I hate you. Chauncey Dandridge. Dan <laughs> we should try to go back and Google chat so we can get some like random folk going there, right? <laughs> um, coming to the stage, Michael Lawrence. We gotta get a set up first, though, right? So we have a quick cigarette break and come back in about five minutes, right? That's right. Yeah. All right, we gotta set it up. We got, we got technology. We gotta get going. Come on, do it. So you guys take take a break. There's Pepsi and chips. There's some wine. I absinthe. think there's some wine. There's absinthe over there too. There's absinthe and um. The probably sound better on absinthe. Apparently, apparently there's some blood somewhere. And apparently, Chauncey's penis. Apparently, really doesn't have. <laughs> 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 so we'll be right back. Give us, give us five minutes. All right. Be careful. He might send a message to himself. Is, is there still wine, you guys? He might text you. Soon. 